testing water absorption, ASTM D570. The official name for this is Standard Test Method for Water Absorption of Plastics. Now we're going to go over safety. What you have to wear is a lab coat, glasses, closed toe shoes. As you can see, it says lab coat and safety glasses must be worn in this area. The for form that you're going to be needing to test are pellets. Our pellets have been conditioned for 24 hours in our oven, 50 degrees Celsius. You're going to be, test you're going to be take doing two tests on boiling water and room temperature water. We are going to go over boiling water now. You're going to need three samples of them. Each sample is going to be pellets that are 12 grams each. As you can see, I have three Erlenmeyer flasks on here, and I have a beaker because when the for the, the the beaker is for extra water, just in case it gets the water in here gets below the 75 mark. So that way, 75 milliliter mark, so we can keep it that way. And now we're going to start massing out the samples. So once you got all your 12 grams masked out, three samples masked out, you are going to use a paper funnel to put the pellets into an Erlenmeyer, Erlenmeyer flask for one hour. So as your water is boiling for an hour, you can go to your room temperature water which you will put in these test tubes. So like the boiling water, you will have three samples of 12, three samples that are 12 grams each. You're gonna put it in here, put it in here, top it off with water, and you're gonna leave it in there for 24 hours. Now we are going to start massing out our samples for this. So, once you mask out your samples, you can put them in a test tube. You just what you do is you take a test tube, put the same paper funnel you used for the boiling water in here. Now you're gonna make sure you just want to tight like that again. You're gonna put it in here. Put the pellets in here, like so. Make sure none of them get out because then you can't use that sample anymore. After you have all your pellets in there, you're going to take some room temperature water and pour it into your test tube until it is full. And then you close the cap and then you wait 24 hours until, so you have till tomorrow until it is Done. So now that our boiling water is done, we are going to take it, take it off the boiling, take it off the hot plate, and pour it out. And it is hot, so do not touch it. So we are going to take it, take it out, and then we are going to pour it out here. So, as you, to help take it out, you're going to want to have a leather glove on to touch it, so that way your hand doesn't burn, and you're going to want a rod to help take it out. So what you're just going to do is you're going to stick it in there and just try it. Take it out like that. Just do that. So now that I have the flask empty, I am going to put the I'm going to put these in the massing tray. None of them fall. Okay, that's off. Now we're going to mass them, and you're going to want to record this data. And yeah. 
So after you recorded the mass, you are going to want to put it in the oven and mass it tomorrow because you're going to put it in the oven for 24 hours. And then you're going to repeat that step for the two, repeat those steps for the two other boiling waters and repeat it tomorrow for the room temperature ones. So once you are done, you're going to want to put all your used pellets in a tray like this and make sure you put in the correctly labeled one and we used PETE -E, so that's why I would put it in there and then when then you're going to want to unplug the hot plate make sure all your glassware is clean and put it all away <laughs>